Hey everyone, welcome to my video. I am shooting another video on what is an M19 code. And this is for uh, a Haas CNC lathe. Uh, the M19 code is only if you have a lathe with live tooling. And if you don't have a lathe with live tooling, then it won't matter. Uh, what does M19 stand for? It's called a spindle orientation. And what that is, uh, how can I explain this? If you're looking at the front of your part, say this is the part you faced, and it's going like that. Like you, you face the front. I used to use this a lot when I was drilling holes that were off center. Most of the time on a lathe, your holes are drilled on center. With live tooling, you can go off center and drill a hole. But you have to tell it where you want it to go. So, okay, so let's say you want to put a hole at, uh, we'll call it from spindle center line, uh, three quarters of an inch from center line. So that would be X.750. Now we have to tell it, you have to figure out where you want it to go. And it goes like this. This would be zero. This would be 90 degrees. This would be 180 degrees. Oops. And this would be 270. So it's going like this. Okay, I hope that doesn't confuse you. So say you wanted to do uh, three holes. Say one here, one here, one here, one here. This is 45 degrees because you're splitting it in half. So this would be 45. And well, okay, now we know this is 90 plus 45 degrees because they're all going to be even. This would be 135 degrees. So now we're at 180. You're going to add 45 to that, which would be uh, 225. 225 degrees. And this last hole, well, we know it's at 270 plus 45, 315 degrees. So I'm sorry that's kind of sloppy, but... Um, trying to figure out how to do this. Um, okay, so we know we want to do this and you want to drill a hole here. So how do I write the code? So you already know you're going to go to that dimension X750. And what I'll do is I'll do this. Uh, I'll write another line of code. I'll get rid of this. So you have your choice of doing a P value or an R value. So what's the difference? P value is you write what is known as an M19 P45 point. And that's, and the way the P code works, it's just whole numbers. It doesn't go any other digit past that. With an R code, so if you want M19 R. So if you wanted to make it even more precise, you could say R45.000, it'll go three decimal points over. But if you had some crazy numbers such as like R45.5 25, something like that, that's where the R code comes into play. So we'll get rid of this. So that's the difference. A P code, if it's if you don't need something real precise, you can just use a P code. And then if you need a real precise uh, value, that's where the R code comes into play. Okay, and that's pretty much 
how that works. So I know it sounds confusing, but it, I'll just kind of go through it again. It's just you're, you have to have the spindle stopped. And what you have to do, you have to call up your M19 code and say, I want it to go to a, a certain value, such as I want to go 45 degrees from here to here. So you call it your MP45. You then have to lock the spindle, which is an M14, after this. So right down here, M14, get rid of that. And from there, you engage your live tooling and proceed from there. Okay, I'll come back.